It's round 21 in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague. This is the continent of Europe's premier basketball competition. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Athens. Kalispera to any Greek viewers picking up tonight's telecast. A very warm welcome to any fans of FS as well. We are outside the Waka with a bird's eye view. And so the referee steps into the center circle. The ball's in the air. We're underway for round 21 regular season clash between the visitors FS and the host Panathinaikos. First possession to FS and Pana settle into some man-to-man -man defense. Mitic with a deep three, high arching shot. Strikes the side of the rim. Papa Petra with a quick outlet to Kalitis. Pana with their first chance to score. Little bounce pass to Thomas who goes to work in a low post. That's no good. So each team with a possession, neither team with a basket. We start again. Mitic between the circles. Dunstan in the high post. Oh, Dunstan. The easy two. Defensive breakdown there from Panna. He's playing some good hard defense against Kalaitis. Kalaitis, I think, wants to know to the referee if he's got to go in the front court or can he go in the back court. I think Papa Petro now can go either way. Yeah. So the referee's going to put him in the back court. Of course, the eight second count is still live. I don't have to be careful. And Papa Petru gets it in smoothly. Collect this with the teardrop off the screen by Buyukas. Got our first basket of the night. Bobois. Bobois with the scoop and score. Pretty move by the Frenchman. Just glides to the basket and lays it up and in. See Mitic is encouraging Kalitas to take that shot. He won't want this. He won't have to fight through the screen. Skip pass to Thomas. Checks the seams. Lets it go. And that's off the mark. Very slow and deliberate by both teams in their offensive sets. The drum starting to beat slowly here in the walk-up. Mormon, that's a tough shot. Good defense by Thomas. Thomas wants to get out and run. Papa Petru has a seal. Pass just too deep. Nice pass to Vujukas. Little push shot to score, and Vujukas acknowledges the pass. Oh, good sweet move by Bobois. Kicks it. Mitzic turns the corner. His attempt is off the mark. Dunstan, first attempt no good. Missed it the second time. And Pana now off to the races. Kalitas to the rim! It won't drop. Well, here's Kalitas. He's going to go right between the two defenders. Look at the heady play by Kalitas. He goes and initiates the contact on Mormon. And earns a trip to the line. And Mormon is pleading his innocence. And he's right. You know, he's, he's running his line, but... It, just shows you the experience of Kalaitis. We talk about how an offensive player initiates contact and earns a trip to the line. Kalaitis struggles from the line, shoots about 60%. Both of those were never in doubt. Mitic embellishes here a little bit. There's the boss. Having a good look at the events here in the early. Kalei just trying to cut 
Mitsich off, does a good job defensively. Shot clock running down. Mitsich, well, he ran into Vujukis. And a good round of applause here from the coach. Good defense from Pana. Not to show what Coach Ataman was trying to say there to his team, but he's not pleased about the turnover. Papa Petru wants the ball in the low post against Mormon. Step back shot, no good. Well, you just can't keep it alive, and Dunstan with a strong rebound. wants to go down on a low block, and that is such a smooth jump hook to the right hand over to Sean Thomas. That is a skillful move. Kilpatrick spots up for the three and gets it. Well, that is Pantanaikos' Achilles heel. They don't really have a consistent deep threat. They struggle from behind the line, and so that'll certainly Lift the hearts of the Pana fans. That three from Kilpatrick early on. Bobois shot, hits the front of the rim. And Kalitas wants to push. Oh, behind the back pass to Vujukis! Oh, some champagne basketball here. From Kalitas. What an assist. Bobois, can he find his form? He does. Finally, Roddy Buckets knocks down a three. Well, the bounce pass is intended to find Vujukas, who lost his balance. Patino appealing. He thinks Dunstan maybe pulled Vujukas over. Let's see what we can see here. It's hard to tell. There's certainly contact. Look at this pass from Kalejdis. What makes that even better is he looks the other way. Watch this. Eyes in the back of his head. Touch pass to Dunstan. Kalejdis rotates from the help side. Saying to his teammates, we're going to collapse on the basketball here. Walling up, and there's the foul from the veteran. We'll take our first break here at the media timeout. This game's just starting to simmer a little bit. Panna up two at the break. To those who consider themselves superior for having been born male. To those who exclude others for their sexual orientation. To those who discriminate against others due to the color of their skin or their religion. To those who discredit anyone who thinks differently. We have a message for you. Not in my house. Well, not in my house, the message from EuroLeague. I just love that, the message delivered by Serbs and Greeks and Americans in that little montage. This competition just embodies that spirit. 16 teams, nine different countries, 14 cities, all coming together to celebrate the round ball game. And this one, it's got a nice feel to it early. Both teams have been deliberate in their sets. Had a delicious pass from Galatis, just to spice things up a bit. Shane Larkin stepping into the game. And those young ladies just checking the scores from around the EuroLeague on their smartphones. Of course they are. Great to see the young fans here. <laughs> Terrific. Friday night, no school tomorrow. And some FS fans in the crowd as well. Well, Dunstan will go to the line on the back of the foul from Nick Kalaitis. Brian Dunstan, his seventh EuroLeague season. He was with the Olympiacos for two years, 2013 and 2015. He's been with FS ever since. That's James Anderson. Dunstan from New York City originally, from Queens. Two-time EuroLeague best defender back in 2014 and 2015. 
when he wore the colors of Olympiacos. It was an all-year league second team selection, 2017 with FS. You can see Papa Petru pleading his case. Well, it looks like it's off Adrian Mormon's hands. But, uh, referees don't have a chance to review that. Larkin snaps a bounce pass to the high post and the push shot from Mormon off the mark. Gist with his first touch with the rebound, pass ahead. Kilpatrick's shot's no good. Look at the body scrambling after it. Larkin on the wing. Extra pass to Bobois, step back three. That's off the mark. Neither team really finding their form here early on. There's a foul here on Beaubois. I don't think he has much of an argument there, <laughs> Roderick. Of course, we had the advantage of slow motion. That's Keith Langford right there on the right. He's been out for several weeks. And for a team that are struggling for some offense, my heavens, he could certainly help them. Of course, they're without the services of Nico Pappas as well, who has an ACL injury. Tino shouting at Mitalu staying the ball. Someone's going to stay on Simon. So a defensive breakdown here for Pana as they don't recover out of their press. Back into a stable half court defense. Kalaitis lines up a three and he drops it. He's not known for his shooting accuracy from distance. I did say early on he almost had a triple double against FS last year in one of the games. Good start here for the captain. Good defense by Kilpatrick. Comes up with a steal. Now, Campathenaikos turning into points. Just a second turnover against FS. Kilpatrick probes, glides to the basket and scores with the left hand. So Kilpatrick comes up with a steal and gets the basket. Beaubois, that hits the heel of the rim. What a rebound by Brian Dunstan. Beaubois just one of four from behind the rainbow. Dunstan locked up with his old teammate, Papa Petru. Kicks to the corner. Mormon just beat the shot clock. Couldn't find the bottom. I think Giscany called for a moving screen here. How often do we see James Gist and Kalaitis combined on a high ball screen? And it's hard to tell there. It looks like Shane Larkin might. Yeah, I don't know how you can call that against Gist, but we have the privilege of instant replay. To be fair, the referee doesn't see the arms of Shane Larkin from his angle. You see the finish there from Kilpatrick. Tibor Ply skips one to Anderson. And that is off the mark. Larkin with the rebound. The smallest guy on the floor comes up with it. Backs it out. Mormon along the baseline. We've got a call here from the trail referee. Well, fans, remember, you can track all the live in-game stats on the EuroLeague website. It's all the w's.euroleague.net. Just click on the link to tonight's game. Track the stats while you watch the sights and listen to the sounds of the continent of Europe's premier basketball competition. Wrap around pass to Gist. Kick out to Lejeski. Lejeski stop and pop. And he gets the drop. Larkin drops a bounce pass to Plyce for the baseline jumper. Smooth as you like. Tibor Plyce, that one was never in doubt.
Meet Delu. Meet Delu. Well, maybe did just too much. Kiss with the offensive rebound. The stick back attempt, no good. The second attempt, no good. But that is the fight you need from Gist. Good effort by Gist. He just tries to find an avenue to the basket, relentless. He earns himself a trip to the line. Two wide-eyed youngsters courtside. They call him Gestopoulos in these parts. So well loved. Tenth EuroLeague season. He's been with Panthinaikos, has James Gist since 2013. And Mormon darts along the sideline. Finds Larkin. And Larkin draws the foul. There's a foul here from Ante de Combo. Larkin not yet in the act of shooting. So both coaches into their rotations. And right now, there's a mismatch if, if they could find Mormon, who's got the cabbages on him. Plice says to his teammate, Don't worry, I got your back. T Bar Plice with four. Jeski again with that mid-range jumper. He's getting that going, two for two. Inside a minute now in the opening stanza. Mitsic, let's fly with a deep three. He's over two from that same spot on the floor. I think Mitsic was just trying to manufacture a quick two for one as we wind down this first quarter. Lejeski, touch pass to Mitalu, and Mitalu lost it. Numbers here for FS. Mitsic slows it down. Tibor Pleiss gets called for the offensive foul. Well, Pleiss does exactly what you want. He runs to the halo, and he finds a body and then pins him. But you can't get away with that around the streets of Athens, that's for sure. He just pushes Lucas Lukavicius to the floor. Those big guys are foul magnets, too. They always draw the eye of the referee. Ply stands 2 meters 21. You can't hide. Last possession here, first quarter. The carry just a little runner. No good. The putback attempt from Anthony Combo. No good. And you love the effort and energy of Panthinaikos, who have made a statement here to FS. We're desperate for a win. And we're going to start and play 40 minutes the end of 10, Panna up eight here in the walk-up. Panna come out with Lukavicis, Lejeski, Mitalu, Anthony Combo, and Gist to start this second quarter. They have the first possession, tough pass, Lejeski drops a dime inside to Gist, who just couldn't pick it up. Larkin. FS come out with Mormon, Dunstan, Larkin, Anderson, and meets a cheer with the basketball. Gist is playing like a man possessed right now. He's working hard on defense. Active on the backboard offensively. Meets it weaves. That's no good. And Andy the combo rises highest for the rebound. Bounce pass inside to Mitalu, but he spilled it. Two turnovers in a row. Panna are lucky to get it back. Good awesome play from Shane Lark. It just couldn't stay in bounds. Speaking of hustle awesome plays, good hustle awesome play there by Mitalu. So Puppy Honest is going to come in. Gist comes out, 
I suspect Patino is just trying to keep his legs fresh. But to me, Gist has come out with great purpose and intent. Lejewski, step back shot, uses the board. That's good. Kind of open up their first double digit lead. Larkin behind Dunson's screen. He runs into the. Number so tall. Papianis. Lejewski just uses his length over Larkin. I'm not too sure he. Meant to use the backboard, but he'll take it. Brock Bodum gets his first action, the Australian international. Mietzic kicks. Anderson took a long time to let it go. But got it down. Good deflection by FS. Kalaitis alley oop, and that did a combo! Says Efani Stowe to his teammate, thank you very much. Kalaitis sends it up, and that did a combo, sends it down. Ah, oh, terrific vision from Kalaitis. Pata now. Got themselves in a great position. Anderson trying to go at Mitalu. That hits the back of the rim. Foul on Brian Dunstan chasing the offensive rebound. Well, I'm not sure which of Kalaitis' passes was better, that one or the behind the back pass. They're the only two assists he has right now. Jeski shot too strong. Meets it. Can he finally find a bottom? That is as pure as you like. Vasilya meets it with a timely three for FS. His first basket of the night. Meets it wore the green of Jagiris last year. Larkin called for the foul. Meet the new shot all the way over the rim. Anderson along the baseline. Foul on the pass. I thought Anderson was going to go to the rim, but he. Saw a host of the welcome committee. Decided to kick it out. Larkin, shots on the way. Perfect execution of the out-of-bounds play as Doge Balbay gives his stamp of approval. Kalaitis. That strikes the front of the rim. Larkin now with a chance to draw FS level. His shot in and out in the no pass offense. Kalaitis with a spin. The alley oop and Papianis is turned now. Well, I tell you what, if you're on the floor and you're open, Nick Kalaitis will find you. Kalaitis has three of those five assists. Brock Modem with the floater. And Mitalu with the foul. Look how long Papianis is. 
Got on the end of that pass easily. Tibor Place right there, two meters 21. And Giannis Papianis, two meters 20. I'm gonna have a 10 point lead at one stage. That's dissipated. Thomas back on the floor. Snapples the rebound. Kalaitis just goes to the Jets. Couldn't convert the lay in. Papianis with the rebound and a jump hook. He was deceptively quick, this Kalaitis. You don't really get a feel for how quick he is, how good an athlete as, you, as he is. As I give him the commentator's curse, he just got beat in the dribble drive until you see him live. That's a tough pass. Maybe just a little bit ambitious from Kalaitis. Yeah, I got beat here off the bounce by Vasily Mitsic. Gets in a great spot here, just didn't finish. But Papianis, look at that. Ian Vujukas steps back in for Panda to spell Papianis. Bobois, Plies. Three for three, Tibor Plies. He's pitching up a tent. On the baseline. What a great bounce pass inside to Papa Petri. The basket's going to score on basket interference. So another assist for the Maestro. Look at that bounce pass. Perfectly measured. I think it's Tibor Plyce who strikes the rim. It's Bobois, beg your pardon. So Bobois' fingers got caught in the rim. He gets called for basket interference. So Papa Petru will be credited with the score. And Pana up here four as we take a break in the second quarter. Well, Matt Lajewski's come off the bench tonight. And this is a lost art. The mid-range jump shot uses his dribble to find space on the floor, and he's knocked down three of them here. He can stroke it from beyond the arc, but using his dribble to good effect. The player is back on the floor here, and Panna stay in some pressure up the floor. Mitic is asking the referee for the ball. Doge Belabai sees his first action. Beats the pressure. There's Plyce, top of the key. Mitic thought about it. Great block by Lejeski. Well, Lejewski blocked it. I'm not sure the baseline referee saw it. Will they confer or not? Mitchell is appealing. Lejewski lucky. He's got his hand, and you can see just the faintest of touches there. You'll often see that little hand check there by Lejewski called the foul. He certainly blocked it. But uh, sadly, the referees missed that one. Vujukas, screen and roll, textbook screen and roll. Bobois on a down screen. 
Batted by his shot. Wayward. Had to look to press their advantage. Kilpatrick keeps his dribble alive. And now Kalaitis in his offense. Nice spacing. Thomas in the corner. The three on the way, no good. Kalaitis had it momentarily, can't come up with it. Tactical foul here by Lojeski. Give his team a chance to recover defensively. Just picks and dives. A lot of times coaches will say, you've got a second to a second and a half to get from your screening position down to the halo, and Wuyukas did that well. It's like a bit of matchup zone here from Panna. Shot from Plies, that's his first miss. Good hustle play by Simone. And Jeski couldn't hang on to it. I think Patino shouting at one of his players, you got to block out. It looks like it's a 2-3 zone here that they... Well, Bobois splits the two defenders up top. Long rebound into the hands of Kalaitis. It's a three on two. Kalaitis to Thomas! And Thomas slides to the basket, lays it up and in. Good break by the Greens. And this will bring a timeout here from Coach Ertaman. Still some work to do for Deshaun Thomas, but he adjusted his body well and got to the backboard. Well, Panna up eight. They have been up as many as ten. And they're off to a terrific start here in the first half. When you come, Timor, you come, which side do you want to go? shot? For this side or this side? This side is better for you. Timor, you come, when you see the ball, like here, then change angle. And here, check to your shot. If there is no shot, short throw. You make short throw. Two more steps, let's go. So offensive timeout here by Coach Ataman. Looks like he's trying to get something for Ruddy. Bobois to get going. Bobois, five points tonight. He's one for four from three-point land. He's got a basket inside the arc as well. Thomas, that basket in transition was his first. Frontier of Pana, which is causing all kinds of problems. Kurislav Simon, his shot from the top of the key is no good. And right now, you can see the frustration by Ataman, but Pana defensively are getting after it. They're moving, closing out shooters. Jeski, his avenue blocked. Kilpatrick, he tries to get to the halo, jump stop, good. Good hard nose basket by Sean Kilpatrick. Let's see if we can identify the defense down here. For Panna. Looked like they were in straight man there, but they've shown some 2 3 zone, maybe a bit of matchup zone as well. Kilpatrick rises over Bobois and converts. He's emotional, fired up. And that's how Panna are playing right now. They know they're desperate for a win here at home. Fest just trying to grind it out in the road. Bobois toes the line, knocks down the first. Fourth yearly campaign. Started his yearly career with Strasbourg, France. 
in the season he was a round three MVP with 26 points versus Himki Moscow. He's got seven right now, but he, he's like a microwave. I mean, he, he can get hot quick. Thomas trying to get a seal on Mormon. That's a step to the arc. Goes hard at Plyce. Plyce with a good defensive stance. Two on two here for FS. Simone fans out. Into Plyce on the low block. Mormon, shot clock running down. You can see FS are out of sync offensively. Meets it's trying to make something happen. It's no good. Everything labored for FS, which in large measure goes to the defense of Panthenagos. Gist bumping and grinding with Mormon. Oh, terrific pass inside to Thomas, who lays it up and in. Great unselfish play by James Gist. And Panda now with 10 assists as a team. They're up 10 as well. Less than a minute to play here in the first half. Fouls on Lejeski as he's just trying to slow the progress of a cutter through the lane. Let's see if we can see it here. Yeah, he's just bumping a cutter, we call this. And the referee's just trying to clean up the game, allow players to have free passage. Mormon nets both free throws. He's been quiet as well. Four points for Adrian Mormon. What a great pass here from Gist to Thomas. Thomas draws a foul on Mormon. FS not yet in the penalty, so that won't cost them. Blocking foul there by Mormon. Kilpatrick. His shot off the mark. Gist kept it alive momentarily, but FS will come up with it, and they will have a chance to get what should be the last scoring opportunity of the first half. Down eight. They have trailed by as many as 10. I think FS will be happy if they can go in the change room. Down six. Still in touch. Shot clock at five. Anderson with the corner three-pointer. Good. Three ball from the corner. Anderson with the last basket of the half. And for FS, who've labored and haven't really hit their stride, they can be pleased that they're going into the halftime down just five. Panna up here at home in the Waka. Coach, your ability to control the defensive rebound along with the ability of Nick Nick's to pass the ball has worked miracles for you so far. But will that be enough to win the game? You know, we played this, the best half of the season, did a lot of great things. We just broke down mentally on giving up the three-point shot right before the half by leaving our man strong side, little things. But if we play the same type of half defensively, we'll be in good shape. Thank you very much, Coach. Well, some positivity there from Coach, uh, who sometimes throws away praise like their man manhole covers. So good to see he's happy with his team, and they have played well this first half. There's no doubt about it. There seems to be just a bit more determination from his players, and no more so than Kalaitis, who's leading from the front, and he's so consistent all the time. But to me, I think Gist has come in, and you know, he's provided some leadership as well. He hasn't played a lot, but 
He's played with more intent and more verve than I've seen him in a couple of weeks. The kind of players know that you've got to win your, your games at home. But uh, still 20 minutes of basketball left to come here. This game could still go either way. If you're with us in the first half, welcome back to Athens. If you just joined us, a very warm welcome to you. It's FS in the white jerseys and Pathanaikos in their green. First possession here to the visitors. Anderson, who scored the last basket of the half. Can't score the first basket of the second half. Here's your five for Pana. Kilpatrick, Kalaitis, Thomas Papapetro, and Vujukis. And Nick Kalaitis. Cla slashes to the basket, lays it up and in. The five on the floor now for FS, Bobois, Mitzic, Mormon, Anderson, and Bryant Dunstan. Bobois shot, wouldn't fall. Oh, Kalaitis hits the trailer. Papa Petru acknowledges the pass. Kalaitis has touched it twice. He scored it once. And he's assisted second time. Well, Mitzic runs into Papa Petru. I think Mitric, Mitric draws the foul here. Papa Petru, good defense. See what it looks like on the instant replay. And he's still just stepping over. Good hard nose play by both players. And look at this pass here from Kalitas. I wonder if Papa Petru just had a little word in his ear as he was filling the trail spot in the break. Anderson trying to find space. That's a tough, tough ask. Quick outlet to Kalaitis. Thomas gets down in a low block. Left-handed jump hook drops. And Pana are off to an electric start. Ataman has seen enough. He wants a timeout. And Pathanaikos, who have led by as many as 10 now, find themselves up 11 here in a crucial game against FS. Well, that's a timeout where the coach is calling you out. He's not happy at all with some of the lack of patience on offense. I certainly think that drive from Anderson was tough. Bobois before it wasn't much better. By contrast, Hannah have been efficient on offense. the line there on Kalaitis. 11 points, and eight assists. Had a couple of rebounds as well, four rebounds. Better patience here from FS, the inside out play. Finds an open shooter, Shimon just couldn't get it down. Come back the other way. That pass intended for Simon. He didn't see it. Dunstan turned it over. Kilpatrick lets fly with a three, and he gets it. Well, you start to wonder now, is it Panna's night? They're up 14. Tough pass to Bryant. Does well to catch this. Because there's green bodies all around him. Look at the atmosphere here in the walk-up. Yeah, Dunstan runs into Thomas. Oh, 
Look at that quick pass from Kalaitis to Kilpatrick to invite the shot. I think this is a generous call. I'm not too sure Dunstan was yet in the act of shooting. He's still catching the ball. Tough night for Coach Ataman. Ataman in his second stint here with FS was with the club from 2008 to 2010. Kilpatrick drops it off to Vujukas. Vujukas has played positively tonight. You know, he's kind of been out of the rotation for a long time. Tino gives him a start. He's done well. Commits a foul here. Born in London, Vujukas. Yeah, blocking foul there is it's just not quick enough to get around for Mitic. He's got a quick release. And that young man really soaking up the atmosphere. Nicolaitis look alike. Mitic partially blocked by Kalaitis. What a great play. Kilpatrick goes in amongst three white jerseys. Not the best decision. Thomas, show and go! Oh, Deshaun Thomas! With a terrific show and go from the elbow. And he sends it down. Well, Thomas really emoting, and he's getting the fans up off their feet. Panna up 17. In a game they really need to win. They're in a commanding position right now. And they certainly have their tails up. For FS fans, there's still time to get in it, but need to try and find something on offense. Larkin in and out. Kalaitis, just, he just cleared out. He wanted to go at Larkin. And he scores with ease. Kalaitis just trying to pilfer the ball from behind. It's called for the foul. Glides by Place and lays it up and in. Panna back in that 2 3 defense. Yeah, Mormon gets the ball in the high post. That's exactly how you want to attack a zone. Kalaitis to Gist. And Gist fouled by Bobois. Or Plice. Make your choice. It's uh, Tibor Plice with the foul. His third. Well, he's played well for FS with six points. Does he stay in? <laughs> that young man rolls his eyes on the miss. He's in the best seat in the house. They've got these leather couches down courtside. Papa Petru having a word with Adrian Mormon. Mormon here in the low post. Yeah, strong move by Adrian Mormon. 
just gets busy down in the block. And he has eight. Tough shot by Thomas. Great defense by all of the FS players. Plice knocks it out of the cylinder. Larkin runs it down. Exactly the hustle you need when you're chasing the game from behind. Looks like Larkin might have come up a little bit worse for Ware here as he chased down that loose ball. like it's his thumb, left thumb or wrist. As you see the passionate fans there for Pena. Oh, great pass to Simon. Nice touch pass by Morbin over the top of the defense to Kudislav Simon, who lays it up and in. Galatis, partially blocked by Plyce. Here's Mitic in the mid floor. Mormon steps into a three, and that's off the mark. Plyce with the offensive rebound. FS starting to play a little harder now. Nice pass to Plyce. His jump hook drops, and Patino will call a timeout. Good run of form here. Good purple patch of play by FS, as they've shown some grit and some resolve. And having been down by as many as 17, they're within 11. The five man set a back screen. You gotta just let him know, let him know so he can body the guy. He had no idea it was a screen. Just let him know. All right, look, everybody watch this now. Here's what we're doing. We're down screening, okay? But three is gonna come this way. Two is gonna turn out. Look for Deshaun inside, five die. Then split the post. Split the post over here. Yes. You're turning out three. Four is getting three, then you're getting the man inside, the two men. You're ducking in. Let's go, guys, let's go. Coach Patino drawing something up on the fly there. Not necessarily something to do in practice, the way he was explaining it. Certainly some concentrated looks there at the scoreboard. Maybe some nerves amongst the Pana fans. See now if Panic can run the set. So Jeske's the number two. He's going to come and get it first. Touch into Thomas. And Thomas converts. So kudos to the players to execute exactly what Coach Patino wanted. Simone slides a pass down into Plyce, who gives it back to him. Gist steps away from the basket. Meets it, has to adjust his shot midair. Quick outlet here to collect this. You can see the pass here from Lejeski. The football the foot of Tibor Plyce. alley -oop to Papianis. And read well by Adrian Mormon.
So good read by Mormon as he steps in to intercept the pass and Papianis commits the foul. So Panna in the penalty. This will send FS the length of the floor. There's James Anderson who's in the doghouse right now. He came out right after that timeout by Coach Ataman. The man wasn't pleased, and he penetrated to the basket. Maybe forced things a little bit. And so Mormon nets both free throws. Fest would like to get this down to single digits and stay at single digits before they start the fourth quarter. Meets it, did a great job getting through screens, and then. Right at the end, just clatters into Kalitas. It Looks like they bang knees. So he shoots right through that screen there, and then that smarts. That's bone on bone. Kalaitis' pass off the mark. Mormon with another interception. Meets it, can't turn it into points. Here's Beaubois. Parks in the corner. Got it. Roderick Beaubois. And Coach Ataman clenches his fist. He knows his team are back in it now. He recognizes his players now. This is the team that are sitting fourth in the Euro League. Very static here from Panna. Very static, Kalaitis keeps the dribble alive. Shot clock at five. Kalaitis gotta make something happen. Great defense by FS. Ataman calls the play. Simone drifts on his jump shot. Not necessarily the best option. Maybe a little bit impatient. Lejewski travels. Well, it's the seventh turnover against Panna. FS with five. Lejewski, yeah, came off the floor and down. Still the ball in his hands. I'm just looking, I'm not sure that Clayton has just come out for a brief spell when the cabbage just came in to relieve him, but he's been playing like a warrior, really for the most part. Beaubois, Ronnie Beaubois. Il a la même chose, he's got the hot hand, as they say in French. And he is starting to heat up. Beaubois with 13. The fans getting a little bit restless here. And meets it with a good strip. Well, Vasilya meets it, good strip. Beaubois, who was just one for four from three-point land in the first half, is now three for six. Papa Petru's three's on the way. That's no good, and Beaubois keeps it alive with a great bit of hustle. Meets it, playing cat and mouse with Kalaitis. Reverse layup by Meetsich, ever so easy. And what was a 17 point difference is now just a one possession game. What a run here by FS. Reaching foul there by Meetsich, that's his second. So Anderson comes out of the doghouse, gets in the game. 
Lee Cabbage is in for Pana. Midalu in the corner. Papa Petru. Step through move by Papa Petru. Well, that basket will help settle some nerves, that's for sure. Beauvoir misses everything. Well, Shane Larkin got some treatment from the physio up at the substitutions area now. You see the foul there by Adrian Moorman. Good move there by Papa Petru. Mitalu on the corner. That strikes the iron. Last possession now. FS trailing by five. They have trailed by as many as 17. The chance now to go into the huddle. Right back in the ball game as we wind down this third quarter. Larkin spilled it. Lejewski comes up with the loose ball. Lejewski lets fly. And that's just off the mark. And so Shane Larkin commits the seventh turnover FS. But they can be pleased with the fact that they're right back in this one. Here's your score at the end of three. Pena, 61, FS, 56. And we are right back to where we started. We came out at halftime. There were five points between the teams. Pena pushed the lead out to 17. But FS reeled him right back in. Kalaitis with 13 points above his average. Beauvoir right on his average, and Thomas with 10. Kalaitis also with nine assists, so he's close to a double-double. He averages eight assists per game, and we can extend our congratulations to Nick Kalaitis, who's now gone into eighth position all time on the all-time EuroLeague assists. He passed Nico Zizis, who was in eighth with 885. Kalaitis now has 889. Panic come out with the first possession to start the fourth and final quarter. It's Lekavicis, Papa Petru, Vujukis, Mitalu, and Lejeski. The cabbage just left-handed layup is good. Like a water buggy gets in there and scoots and scores. FS start with Mitzic, Simone, Mormon, Anderson, and Pleiss. Well, just going back to that point about assists, Kalaitis now with 889, so he's in eighth position, but the top 10 is littered with Greek players. So Zizis now in ninth, Kalaitis in eighth, Theo Papalukas in seventh with 977. Mitri Dimantidis in second with 1,255. At the top of the list is Spanoulis with just under 1,400, 1,395. And Simone knocks down to three. So the Greek players really etching themselves into the pantheon of heroes in Euroleague. Of course, Kalaitis born in Florida, but he Played internationally with Greece. Papa Petro trying to find space, can't find it. Shot clock running down. It's going to let fly with a deep three. That's off the mark. And Mitic couldn't gather it in. Good footwork there by Krunoslav Simon as he got his feet set. A little inside pivot to square up and knock down the shot. Collect this back in the game. Lejeski glides to the basket. He missed the layup. And Buyukas gets called for the over the back foul. 
Lujewski will be killing himself here. That's as easy a shot as he'll get tonight. So fourth personal foul on Vujukis. And he steps out as Mitalu steps in to spell him. Simone bullet pass to Plies, who did well to catch it. Good movement by FS, but Anderson can't get the shot down. When does Ataman come back with Bobois? Papa Petru, let's fly with a three. That's no good, and Mitalu keeps it alive. But the ball ends up in the hands of Anderson. Good sweep move by Mitsic. Oh, nice pass inside to Plies. And the left-handed hook. He's got such nice soft hands, Tibor Plies. He has 10. Galatis' shot is good. Plyce and Mitsic just mix up the handoff. Plyce is claiming a panel player tipped it out of bounds, but to be honest, he's a little bit slack here. He's right, though. But you got to keep two hands on the basketball. You got to chin it and be firm and strong with it. It's a couple of times now tonight, it's the referees have missed. Touches. The latest. He's so good on the bounce. 17 points, stuck on nine assists, six rebounds. Kalitas now. We've got a technical foul here on Ataman, who's losing his patience. He's got to be careful now. He's got one T, he doesn't want to get another. Let's see if we can see what he's annoyed about. He believes there's a foul. He's letting the referee know about it. So it'll be one shot now, the new rule. Gist misses it. <laughs> Lejewski saying, what are you doing shooting the free throw for if you're going to shoot it like that? So Panda retained possession. The ball doesn't switch over to Panda. They keep it because they had it. And so the technical really doesn't harm FS. Kalitas, let's fly with a three! Can you believe it? Nick Kalitas from distance. He lifts his arms to the Raptors to get the fans involved. Well, could you believe that Kalitas is two for three tonight from three-point land? As Mormon goes to work inside. And we got a foul here on the floor. Nick Kalitas shoots 22.5% through the season for three points. And tonight, he's two for three. Now, I'm going to have to disagree here. This is not a foul on Deshaun Thomas. He is straight up, but sometimes the calls go your way. Sometimes they don't. Mitic rattles home with three. How often does it go that way, too? Right now, Patino's annoyed with his team's defense. Thomas misses, Dunstan tips it. And so the press for FS leads to the miss. Mitsic weaving. 
Bobois back in the game. Kilpatrick in for Pana. Simon steps to the ball, and his shot off the mark, long rebound. Into the hands of Kilpatrick. So frantic passes to play there by both teams. Oh, it's unbelievable! It's just unbelievable! You can see that play happening as Gist goes to the basket, but Kalaitis was just waiting for the right moment to deliver it. And on that assist, Nick Kalaitis now with a double-double. 10 assists, 20 points, and he's got six rebounds. He had his best game against FS last year with 29 points, nine rebounds, and 10 assists. And we've got Gist here with a moving screen. Didn't really see it with that instant replay, but Dunstan, strong move. He's looking for an and one there. Tough pass. Bobois catches it. Stop and pop. And that is good. So all quarter, this game is seesawed between four and six points difference. Gist wants it on the block. Goes at Dunstan and draws the foul. Fans just helping the referee out a little bit. You can see the foul there by Dunstan. We'll get a timeout here in the walk-up. Panna up four points in what is proving to be an enthralling contest here in the last 10 minutes. Well, this gives us a chance on this break to look at tonight's seven days magic moment. And it's right here from Deshaun Thomas with a show and go. The head fake gets Dunstan off his feet. And then speaking of getting off his feet, Deshaun Thomas does the same. He goes right through the traffic, right to the rack, and sends it down. Tremendous play by Deshaun Thomas. And that's tonight's seven days magic moment. Thomas with 10 points against his former club, six rebounds. But this is the man of the moment right here. Kalaitis, 20 points. Look at that, two for three from behind the arc for a man who shoots 22.5% from three-point land. This is where he's at his best, when he can get to the basket off the drive. exhausted he's running on fumes right now he knows what it means to his club to get a win tonight Papa Petri's pass off the mark Kilpatrick keeps it alive avoids his turnover Gist James Gist with the thunder dunk well a little bit of offense by accident Kilpatrick keeps the play alive. Avoids the over and back violation and Gist profits with the dunk. Simon, his three on the way, in and out. So Kalaitis with his seventh rebound, needs three more to get to a triple-double. Thomas, he's happy, he's got a deuce here, he has 12. And Ataman with a timeout. So. Coming out of the last time out, Panthinaikos come out in terrific form. And that's a man who wants to try and calm his troops down. What a dunk here from Gist. He almost gets his head on the rim. 
And Panna up eight. It's the largest lead that they've enjoyed in the fourth quarter. Simon is done. Pass the ball. Adrian here, come. Use the pick and all. Adrian, stay there. You can attack here. You reach. If no attack here, there is no space. You pass the ball to Adrian. Check the shot. Or with Rodrik, we play the side pick and all to late option. If we score, we pick up in man to one pressure. Okay? This player, which part? Doesn't matter which part. Little bit come to time. Okay, let's go. Well, here's a line here on Kalaitis. He's got those 20 points, the 10 assists. Just a couple more rebounds away from a triple double. Look at his performance index ranking of 33 last year against FS. He had a performance index rating of 42. Bobois found some space. Will it count it well? Well, you heard the voice of Sean Kilpatrick saying and one and one, and the referee agrees. Strong drive here by the American. Off-footed. But look at the concentration. He's still watching it. And he'll go to the line to tack on his and one. Wonder now, have Panna just got control of this game. We stayed at four and six, the differential for a while. Now it's 11. Meets it. Let's fly. That's no good. A long rebound into the hands of Papa Petru. Kalitas in no hurry now. The clock is the ally of Panna. Gist into the high post. Mid range jumper. Got it. Got the shooter's bounce. And you just wonder. Is it going to go pound his way tonight? Simone converts. Ataman telling his team to pick up full court. Foul by Mormon. The third team foul by FS. Mormon just trying to get the foul in quick. He's happy to acknowledge it. I think Simone gets fouled here as well. Could have been an N1 on Papa Pedro. Kilpatrick. Front of the rim. Kiss rises for the offensive rebound. It's the 10th offensive rebound for Panna. Bobois comes up with a loose ball. Bobois, let's fly with a three. That's short. And Kalaitis with his eighth rebound. Gist, I think he, the basket's gonna count on the foul. I thought maybe he shuffled his feet. There's the foul on Meeks in strong hands by Gist, and he converts. Another assist for Kalaitis. But Gist now with 10 points. Kalaitis with 12 assists, 20 points, and eight rebounds. And this man here, Sean Kilpatrick, the new man, has played his part as well. 13 points. You know, this is exactly the performance that Panna need. Thomas in double digits, Gist in double digits, and the new man Kilpatrick in double digits to join their captain. Kalitas. Pass intended for Plice, broken up by Thomas. And you're starting to think now that Panna in a winning position here. Can they see it out? Alley-oop! Ante the combo! Well, could that be the cherry on the top of the Sunday? 
in what has been a terrific performance in the fourth quarter here by Pana. Place has been a bright spark for FS, 13 points for the German. Pana now just going through their sets. They're happy to see the time while away. Kiss with the offensive rebound. His first attempt is blocked. And Bobois tips it into the hands of Kalaitis. Will surely Pana are going to win it now. Kalaitis' shot is no good. And Gist couldn't keep it alive. James Gist has been outstanding. Five offensive rebounds for him individually. The team has 10. And Anthony Combo with two thunderous dunks. He's got four points, both of them on alley oops. Kiss gets called for the reaching foul from behind. He won't mind this. Simone knocks down the free throw, but those voices right there, they'll be singing in the placa soon. The Tavernas will be full soon with fans clad in green celebrating what has been a professional performance from their club tonight. Fuyukis down to Thomas, and Thomas can't score. Well, just looking back to round seven, when these two teams met, FS won 78-62, so they have a plus 16 points difference. Panna can't get that, but they'll split in the season series, and they'll be more delighted with the win. Brock Modem played just sparingly tonight. Thirteen points will be the difference between tonight's two teams. And so the players can shake each other's hands and commend each other on a good performance. And what an entertaining basketball we've seen. A game of spurts and runs by teams. The third quarter in particular, when the first half of the quarter was dominated by Panna, but then FS came right back into it. Good to see Coach Ataman shaking hands with the referees after his passionate outburst. Well, it's official here in the walk-up. Panthenikos win this one. They'll improve their record to 9-12. and 12. FS dropped to 13-8. and eight. And stay with us as we wrap this one up here in Athens. The Pana players now paying tribute to their fans. And just a terrific win for the home side. Coach Patino said in his opening comments, it's a must win for us tonight. And he'll be pleased that his team were able to do that. Here's the final score. Panthenikos win against FS, 88-75 here in the Waka. Well, I don't think it's anyone's surprise to find out that tonight's Adidas player of the game, this man here, the captain, Nick Kalaitis, he scored early, he scored often. He scored inside, he scored outside. Beautiful little up fake there. And this is where he's at his best, driving to the basket. 
Knocked down two threes. <laughs> Great to see that and the emotion there from the veteran in his seventh EuroLeague season. Here's the line on tonight's game. 20 points, 13 assists in the end, and eight rebounds. Just two rebounds off, a triple-double. Last year, he was just one rebound off a triple-double with nine. And we'll get his thoughts courtside before we wrap this one up. Nick, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on your amazing performance. Um, I, don't, I know you don't like to brag about what you're doing on the court, but I would do it for you. Um, today, you had 20 points, and you passed 27. A total of 47 points out of the 88 of your team. How does that make you feel? Uh, my teammates make it easy for me. Uh, they make shots. Um, you know, guys pick and roll, defense, they roll. Um, like I said, my teammates make it easy for me to make passes, and uh, the most important is the win. Uh, we needed a win bad, and uh, we played. It's a very good FS team. Um, that's well coached. So, for us, hopefully, we can get it rolling and uh, start getting some wins. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, very humble there from the Floridian. Happy not only is he throwing out assists, but he's also throwing out praise to his teammates. And he'll be pleased with tonight's win. We'll see how things are in the standings. But first, we'll chat to Coach Patino. Coach, congratulations for the win. I want to know what was the game plan to outscore one of the best offensive teams in the league, keeping them 10 points below their average and keeping them for the majority of the game almost 10% for two-pointers and three-pointers? Rebounding. Rebounding, if, when you give a great shooting team a second look at the basket, that's where you get threes because you're not in your defensive set. Long rebound, they make a three. They're a great shooting team, great offensive basketball team. You know, I've, I've, I've coached against Magic Johnson, uh, Bird, some of the great guards, Maurice Cheeks, Isaiah Thomas in the game. Nick Kalathis is the best passer I've seen in my lifetime. Now, if he shot it as well as some of those guys, I wouldn't have the honor of coaching him. <laughs> so, but he, sh all the guys, we know our weakness, it's been shooting. Our guys literally have been putting in four hours every day, 2.15 of practice, then another hour and 20 minutes of shooting. So I gotta take my hat off to their work ethic. Thank you very much, coach. On the win and your performance, uh, I know you're quite new in the team, and uh, this game was very crucial for your team. So, what were your thoughts when you stepped on the floor regarding your role about tonight's game? Um, just give it all we got. I mean, we know our backs is against the wall, and um, the best thing about us is that we we continue to keep fighting every day. I mean, every day in practice, everyone is sitting here trying to um, get better, and we're staying late just to get more shots up and make sure that we're um, ready for the game. And today's show, everyone was really playing with a lot of intensity and a, and a, lot, of, um, a lot of energy. So the more and more we continue to keep playing like that, the better we'll be. Can you comment on Nick Calaf's performance? Oh, he, I mean, that's Nick. <laughs> Nick, he's um, one of the best passes probably I've, I've ever seen in my life. And um, the best thing about him is that he just wants everybody to score. He wants everyone to get better. And I mean, I think that's something um, that speaks a lot of value of his character and who he is. I mean, he's always positive towards his teammates. And um, the more and more he continues to keep getting everyone involved, the better we'll be. And I think that's what he's been doing um, ever since, I mean, since I've got here. So Nick's been doing a real good job with that. Thank you very much. Thank you.